In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can automate and streamline the production of image carousels that you can post to Instagram Reels and also to platforms like LinkedIn, like this, which can be a time consuming process, both in terms of giving feedback to make sure the images are correct and also in the actual distribution process. So we have a workflow that takes our vertical videos and automatically transcribes them. And then it uses chat GPT to rewrite that into a social media post. And then we clean that up in a Google document. And then from there, we're able to create these images in a carousel format within Canva. Now Canva is great for creating these types of graphics, but it does have a couple of problems, both in terms of how you give feedback in the platform, and then also how you download these images and then ultimately get those out for distribution on social media. So you can leave comments to your designer and go back and forth this way. But when you're working on a lot of projects, this is really not an efficient way to go back and forth with your designer because there's a lot of different graphics that you're creating and you don't necessarily know where they all are. They're not documented, the links. And I'll show you how we use frame.io to do a much better job on giving feedback and working with our designer. But the other problem comes in terms of when we're actually sharing this and downloading it and ultimately distributing this to social media. So on platforms like Instagram, when you're uploading your stories, you have to do them individually one image at a time. So when you're working with a lot of different slides here, you could be working with a lot of different images five, six, seven images. And it starts to get cumbersome when you're trying to manage all of these, keep them organized and then distribute them. On platforms like LinkedIn, you can actually post a PDF, which makes it a little bit easier. But on Instagram stories and other platforms, you have to upload individual images one after the other. So if you're trying to publish content at scale, you can imagine there's gonna be a lot of images and it can get rather chaotic in terms of how you organize all that and then get that out to social media. So instead we export these graphics as a PDF instead of a PNG. And that way we get a single file which we can download. So now when I look at this carousel, we'll see here that we have all of those images strung together in a single PDF document, which makes the organization for distribution a lot easier. And then we'll take that file and we'll upload it to a platform called frame.io, which is typically a video collaboration platform that you use with your video editor to give feedback and work with your video editor to make sure everything looks good. But it turns out it works well for images as well. We can come in and we can make comments on the image. We can point things out and we can actually leave a comment and then those comments are going to show up on this right side here and if we leave multiple comments then each of these comments are going to directly relate to the markup that we did so that it's easy to match up a comment with the given visual feedback you can also control the status here as well and then you can also go through each different slide in one document in one interface where you're already doing your video feedback as well so that you're only working with one platform and you can go through all this whole thing and leave feedback for your designer and then they can simply come back to canva and make the corrections, export it, and re-upload it for your final review. And you'll see that that feedback system is a lot better than just simply leaving a comment where you don't necessarily know what that comment is relating to, like you can see here. Now that does leave one problem for us to solve, which is that we have a PDF here and platforms like Instagram, again, they're gonna want individual images in order for us to be able to upload them into their platform. So the way I solve that problem is with my content engine. This is an Airtable database that allows me to store all of my content with a unique ID. It gives me easy access to thumbnails, the status of all of the different pieces of content with direct links to the copy, the images, and the media. I can also access the folder. And all of this is automated, so I don't have to actually create any of these rows or this data or attach these links. These are all automatically added for me. And when I move the status of this PDF to approved, it's going to bring it into the content engine. You can see it's creating a row here. And so then it brought that PDF into the system. We can see that it's a PDF and we can ultimately schedule this out to social media. Now, I'm not gonna go through that part of the process, I really just want to show you how we make the final distribution easier. After it's approved in frame.io and it's brought into the system, we run an automation in make.com, which takes that PDF and ultimately breaks it back down into individual images. And then it saves those images into Google Drive. So if we check out here and we open up this folder here, we're going to see a folder that it created. And if we enter that folder, we're going to see the individual slides from that PDF actually broken back down into individual images. So me as a user, I'm not having to do all of these different steps manually and trying to keep all of this organized in the right order so that when I actually go to post it, it's easy and it doesn't drive me crazy. And as we go through the process and we do final approvals of all of the content, including the copy that will accompany these images for social media. And by the way, if you want to see more in-depth videos on how we post all of this content and keep it organized across multiple social media platforms, check out the YouTube channel. We've got a lot more videos that cover that in more depth. But ultimately, once it is ready for publication on a given day, we send the 
all of the information that is related to that post to a distribution channel in Slack, which you can get on your phone. It tells you the copy and it also gives you easy access to the folder. So if you're on your phone, you just click this. It's going to take you to where all of the images are. And once you come in here, you're going to see all of those images laid out. You can download them from that message from Slack and then you can simply upload them into Instagram and now you've made your post. So that is the way you can streamline the entire process of creating image carousels for multiple social media platforms in terms of actually better collaborating with your team and then also preparing those files for easier distribution. And these individual pieces that make the process easier are going to allow you and your team to create more in less time, which will give you the competitive advantage over your competitors because you're just able to produce more high quality content than they can. So as always, I hope you found this video valuable. If you'd like to learn more about how you can build out your own Airtable system to automate the entire content creation, production, and distribution process, make sure to check out the next video. It's gonna pop up right here on your screen. It'll walk through how you can do your own content system, build it out from scratch, and ultimately put this into your business to help you and your team save time and do more. Check out that video. I'll see you there.